Hey, what's up, guys? I was MTG player, and sorry, my last part just been uploaded, and you know, yeah, my battery ran out. But now I made sure it's charging my phone, so we're all good. So, but I also forgot to talk about these pretties that I binded up on the pearlies. So first, let's talk about the promo card. It's only thousand eyed. Super sweet card. I love this. It's gonna be a great commander card, and it's going for three bucks. So that makes it worth something. So that's why I bindered it. Just look it up on yourself, cause I'm not gonna talk in depth about these cards, cause I want this to be a short video. The deck I want to talk about in depth, just how it works and stuff. Maniacal betrayal. Monomic betrayal. It's a graveyard hate card and it lets you when the because you exile cards from opponents because it's all opponents or exile from opponents yeah so in commander all your opponents graveyards and then you can spend your mana to cast all of them and yeah you can use it turns all your mana to any color and because now you can produce in commander any color it just makes it way better Sacred Foundry Shockland for Boros. You know what it does. You, you all know what it does. Shockland does. It just shocks you if you want it to keep it untapped. Now I put them back you go into the commander deck. And back these go into the binder. Yeah, I didn't run that in my deck. Yeah, because Golgari is kind of common, but really, really, please not. So we have Maniacal Rage. It's kind of removal, but buff. Ordinary Goblin. This is a good way to kill creatures with its ping ability. Self Ward Minotaur. Great for Is It and Boros. Sure Strike. Cool Combat Trick. Logic Bodyguard. Really cool mentor. Generous Stray, nice card draw. Goblin Synergy, good defender, and okay ability. It's called Riku, do not play it, but. And stats are not great. The reach is okay, but. Nah. Iron Shell Beetle, I already talked about this card in my deck. I, I opened two in my pool, well, three in my pool, and I only played one copy in my deck. One. But these the other ones. Tax Favor, nice combat trick, with Convoke also. Pause for reflection. Cool fog with convoke. Incurs vine defender build around card. Volatile tox mess stats, but in limited might be good. Beam splitter mage, combat trick centric card. I kind of wish it was for Boros because this card actually kind of works well with Boros. Because if you put a pump spell on it, you get it and target another creature. Put a pump spell on it. Copy that pump spell and put it on the other creature. Sweet. It kind of wish it was for Boros, because Boros is more combat trick centric. Conque Calvier. I have, this is the only card of the cycle. For all the girls, they have like a card with two colored things like that. Yeah. Yeah, it has two of each of the symbols for the guild. So this is the Selevian one, Conque Cavalier. And basically just replaces itself with a soldier token. Oh no, with an elf knight. Then I open another guild mage, which is the Conclave guild mage for Selesnia. It's first one, it's okay. The second one is like a really like it. This one, is, this probably is not going to see sale. I feel house guild mage honestly might because its control ability is sweet. And the surveilling is just perfect. But this one, I don't see it. Then we play three center, Rose Main Centaurs. Probably gonna see play. Maybe in standard even. Just cause. Just a 5 mana 4 4 Vigilance already. Pretty decent stats. And then when you convoke it, it makes it even and even more valuable. Sonic Assault. Decent jumpstart card. I don't like jumpstart at all because I feel it's a ripoff, aftermath, flashback, and retrace. Like all those are just way better than jumpstart. Like, even though this is, this set's kind of graveyard-centric, really, because you have Surveil, and you have Jumpstart, and you have Undergrow. I still don't see it in this card. In any Jumpstart card, really. 
I mean, the Electromancer helps because now, even when you jumpstart a card, it will get reduced. It. Then we have this World Shaper Colossus. Sweet card. If you can Moki for two, it makes it worth it. And every time you, above two, every time you can Moki it, it's, it's just even more better. Like, this is just perfect. Just sweet. Then I play one. Well, wait, 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 that's not the right order, it should be. Yeah. So I have one Boral Slocket. And then three Is It Lockets. I have two Glades of the Guild Pack, which is a. which is Cares About Gates. There, we have the whole cycle the for each of the five guilds. And there's also that one common gate, which I have in my cards that were donated to me which I'll show you and a rain painting monument which is just good from if you play multicolored creatures then the only other guild gates I have are the Boros, Is it, and Celestia and the other ones are in my sealed pool so I open every single gate alright so that was my pool and my deck for Guilds of Ravnica. Now we're going to go on to the cards that were donated to me. So, well, some of them are saying Candlelight Vigil, Good Enchantment, Aura, and gives pretty decent stats and abilities. Call of the Cap, Color the Caplet, Color the Culprits, Color the Culprit. It was in this pile and just destroys the cards with touches for a greater instant speed. Pretty good. Crush Contra. Contraband, I'm probably putting this in my commander deck. Like, Exile, Artifact, and Enchantment, Sweep. And in case none of your opponents have both, you could, you don't have to cast both. That's why it has that, just in case, like, you don't have to destroy your own thing if you do. Hunted Witness? and eh, card. I mean, maybe? But, mm. Intrusive Pack Beast. I like this card. So when I ran the battle, tap out the two creatures your opponent controls. Sweet five mana three three vigilance, perfect. Uh, Partisan patrol, two three flying mentor, and then yeah, I'm pretty sure I opened this. Yeah, this is my foil card. I have this in foil. Yeah, but it's pretty good with the mentor. Then the tenth district guard, meh, just gives plus one, plus zero, plus one to a creature until end of turn. And I don't see it in that. I mean, this, it's a bear with well, just a little upside. The mere informant is perfect. Three minute one for surveil too. Mmm, that surveils. Nice. I wish I opened it in my pool so I could run it. I'd definitely run this card. Maximize altitude. Charge creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains flying. Perfect. Magnifique. It's pretty good. I mean,. I mean, yeah, paying two mana to get probably two creatures plus one plus one flying and discarding a card might feel a little steep, but it can work. And a card that I think is really cool is Murmuring Mystic. Whenever you cast an into sorcery cell, create a 1 1 bluebird illusion creature token with flying. For is it decks, this is just gonna be such a good card. Towering stuff, you could just counter spells, you could deal damage, you could just remove spells. Just remove threats, creatures, with your instant sorceries, and then this will just give you birds. Then, a card I kind of wish I had, because this is actually such a good card, limited. It's Pass Wall Adept. 2 mana, 1, 3, which says 3, turn creature can't be blocked. If you have so much mana, you can just make your whole team unblockable, keep swinging, do it all again, and just leak your opponent to them. Unexplained disappearance, perfect. Two mana return to our creature to its honesty, and then you surveil one. Now, the only thing about this card is only returns creatures was well, it's like something like on um, the course that they had that card that could return any non land for a minute. But it didn't surveil, but I think creatures is most of the time what you want to return. So it's also the threats. Radical idea. You pay two draw cards and jump start, so you pay four, you discard a card. Jumpstart, eh. I mean, if you have Electromancer and you reduce these, 
you sent to play double blue discard, draw two cards. Perfect. Actually, it's probably as good as Divination if you do that, because you have to discard the cards at additional cost. Another Child of Night. 2 1. 1. I hate the one toughness on Child Knight. It's so bad. And the life of Bishop Soldier, like I said, he is the same thing, just in white. He's a 2 2, and he has lifelink. Why can't you make Child of Night? Yeah, it's already been printed forever, but like, why did you have to originally design Child of Night to be this? Just why? Just why? Child of Night could be a 2 2. Lifelink. And also, I hate Scheming Gordon. 3 mana, 2 2 Death Touch. Get out. Deadweight. A card I have, which was an original card. A card that's. Yeah, in the Golgari decks, I actually have this, so. I honestly might upgrade that deck. And make it standard playable. By taking out all the other cards. So, yeah, Chant Creature gets negative 2, negative 2. So it's just a good removal spell for like any Boros decks, ag aggressive decks, great removal piece for them. Or just can weigh them down, no pun intended. Um, one deadly visit. So I have a full playset now. Perfect. Deadly visit is perfect, guys. Hired Poisoner, 1-1 one, one Death Touch, same plastic, pretty good card. Woodmark Painter, 4 mana, 2, 3. Undergrove, the creature, plus 1. Plus X, plus 0. Menace for each creature. Sweet. Severed Strands. I already talked about this in my deck. If you didn't see that episode, video. Video, nice. When the creature you sacrifice, you get that life from its toughness. And you destroy a creature. Perfect. Cosmotronic Wave. Gives 1 damage to each creature your opponent controls. And creatures your opponent controls cannot block. So it's kind of like Electrify, but Electrify is way better. Because you can just pay 2 and it'll be loaded. But for the extra 2, is it worth that extra 2 mana? You have the option to overload it. To make all their creatures unblockable. <laughs> Meh. I'm not so sure. Fire Urchin. 1-3 Trample. When you cast an extra sorcery spell, Fire Urchin gets plus 1, plus 0 to the turn. So you can make it like a really big trampler, I guess. Maybe more in Boros, because you can also put pub spells on this. I feel more Borosy in that one. Uh, Hellkite Whelp. When it attacks, there's one damage to a creature the player's control. So it's have a 1-1 one, one thing there. Maniacal Rage, we already talked about that. Maximum Velocity, plus one, and Haste. Oh, like the Altitude. I feel altitude is way better than this. It's the same thing as altitude, just in red, but haste. I feel altitude is way better. And then we have the rubble bolt four. Whenever it enters the battlefield, creature gets plus two plus up. So. Okay, not too bad. Torch carrier. One one haste, and another target creature gets haste until it's turned by sacrificing it. So it's kind of like motivator, except has haste on his own, and instantly can do it but yeah you could like, instantly play it and sacrifice it but motivator is just because you can untap tap just to get more uses and it'll stick even though it doesn't have haste still i feel bad generous stray we talked about that crawl forgers a card i had in my deck pretty good undergrowth just gains you life for all creatures in your graveyard five minute four four Crawl Harpooner, so it has Reach, and then so Crawl Harpooner is pretty good. So you choose a creature with flying that you don't control, and then this gets power from creatures in your graveyard. And then they fight each other. So it's a good kind of removal spell. Pax Fever, I already talked about. Pause for Reflection, talked about. Reprieve's Vines, talked about. 
Urban Utopia. So when it ends with the battle, you draw a card. Okay. And you add a man of any color. I kind of like E Horizons and the one in this in Corset, which are one extra mana, but they add two mana. Now the difference is New Horizons gave you a plus one counter, the other one gave you four life. This one draws you a card, but you don't get too many. You just get one, and just because it's two mana, that's why. But still pretty good for fixing. Boss of Tehran, already talked about that. Imara, Soul of the Accord. I like this card, actually. If you saw Jack's Kai go off with this in Game Nights, if you get the right deck to build around, she can be bonkers. Like, especially if you just make it, like, best on Tapper. Now, I wish we had Wu for Kiora's followers, Fate Sisters, but still great. Maybe you can just splash be like, hide her in the deck. But, I don't think so. Doris Red Trooper, a card I wish I had in my seal pool. So, it costs for 1 in Golgari, 2-2. Two, two. Discard a card, it gets plus 2, plus 2, and gains Trample. And activates really only once each turn. I wish I had this card, and I actually got beat by this card by another Golgari player. And I wish I had this. Garrison Sergeant. And as... Gets double strike as long so as, long as you control a gate. 5-man, 3-3. Three, three. So, I... In a gate deck, this could be a good card. Yeah, I've already seen a gate deck on uh, Geek and 30 when they and I fought Joey Zagreffa. He's a YouTuber. They fought, he won because he, he was using a five color gate deck. Joey was using a Is It deck. And he didn't, I didn't, I'm not sure if he had it in his deck, but this honestly might be a card you might want to run. Because essentially now you have 6-6. Six, six. But the three of its first strike damage makes it way better than a 6 6. House Guild Mage, it was in my deck. It has a great control ability with creature doesn't untap. And then the Surveil, pretty good. Hypothesis Sizzle. Draw two cards, and then when you then you may discard a non land card. When you do, Hypothesis Sizzle deals four damage to. Creature, so five mana draw two, then discard. I guess you could discard a jumpstart card, but five mana discarding a card to draw two and to deal four. I mean, limited might be a decent rate, but construct it's definitely not gonna be good. League Guild Mage. So I have three of the Guild Mages. I just need two more, which is the uh, Swarm Guild Mage, which I wish I got. Cause I got Golgari and I got the I got the house and the and the conclave in my pool and I got this from Shaft but I didn't get this one and also the the Legion Guild Mage. All right, so yeah, this draws cards and you can copy instants and sorceries, so that's pretty good. So Rosemary Tensar I already had in my sealed pool. I, well, in my yeah, in my sealed pool. Yeah, I talked about. This. Skyblade Legionnaire, 3 mana, 2-2 two, two flying haste, so it's kind of like from Ixalan, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, there was like, just, but it was red, blue, and stuff, white. But, and it had the same effect, or I think it had haste and not blocked. Alright, so then we have Understood the Uprising, it was in my deck. It gives all of your creatures death touch, and then one of your creatures fights a opponent's creature, so... Um, so it's instantly gonna kill it, and even if it kills yours, it's still pretty good. Renati Shield Mate it is a two mana two two vigilance. Two mana two two vigilance. Why not a uh, two two death touch or a two two life link? I like you, but I don't like scheming Gordon or whatever Gordon is called. I'm not sure, but it was just a Gordon with death touch for three mana two two. And then Child Knight. Oh my god. Hammer Dropper. 4 mana, 5 2 with Mentor. So it has big stats. I mean, it does have a little low attack, so it is easily killable when you attack with it. But you get another creature plus 1. But trading your 5 2 for that? Eh. Sonic Assault, I already talked about. Whisper Agent. 3-2 flash whenever it enters the battlefield to veil. Again, I wish I had this card. This would have been perfect. Even if I wasn't splashing blue, I would have put that because I can just tap black for it. 
Gatekeeper Gargoyle. You want this in your gate deck, definitely. This is going to be a staple for the gate deck. Flying, when it enters the battlefield, put plus one for each gate you can draw. Also, another card you're going to want is Guild Summit. Guild Summit, definitely. So, then the only other locket we got is the Is It Locket. Sorry, a full playset of Is It Lockets. Then, this Wand of Vertebrae. Put the top card of your library in the graveyard to a mill card, and when it shuffle, top five cards from your graveyard into your library. So I guess you get graveyard synergies, and then when you want to sit, and you feel like if you like feel like oh oh oh, oh, oh I'm gonna deck out, you do that put five cards, you get five more turns to live. Then I have a Demir Guildgate, Gateway Plaza, another gate I'm talking about. Honestly, maybe it might go in the deck because. It taps for any mana, so that's good for fixing, even though Gate's already... Two Golgaris, and also, like my deck, the si both the alternate arts. Then we have is a Guild Gate, and then a Selesnia Guild Gate. So that was everything. I'm glad. I hope you watched both the parts. I'm sorry that I was a potato, and I lost my, my, uh, my code for seal on... MTG Arena. I'm so sad. I'm so sorry. I was like looking for it and I just face palm myself. I just wanted to. Mm. Well, that's all for today. This is Average MTG Player signing off.